here's my testimony. Um, all the glory goes to God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for saving me, uh, for having your kindness and mercy and patience with me. And um, I just want to make this video in hopes that it'll help another soul. And here's my journey. Uh, my journey was through um, a journey inward, um, looking for my answers. I was sincerely looking for happiness. And so it was uh, self-healing. I was calling it self-healing. And then it took me to self-mastery, um, twin flame relationship phenomena, dynamic uh, enlightenment, ascension, 5D. And ultimately, I was um, saved by uh, pure grace of God by Jesus Christ. Um, so here's my testimony. Uh, five years ago, I found myself uh, pretty miserable. I um, was 43 and um, something wasn't right in my life, even though I had everything that I dreamed of. I was married to a handsome man. I had a healthy daughter. I had a beautiful uh, house in a beautiful um, area. Um, great job, well-paid job, but I was miserable. And what I discovered is that I was um, in a very unhappy marriage. I was in an unhealthy, um, toxic uh, relationship dynamic, which was emotional and um, verbal abuse relationship. And um, so that um, kind of started my journey inward. Um, as I was figuring out my life, um, I met two key people through Instagram. Uh, one person was my twin flame. I met him on Instagram because of the love for photography. Because as I was going through my rough times, I really um, enjoyed doing flower photography, nature photography, and I liked sharing it with people. So I was posting it on Instagram, and that's how I came across his feed because he had a gorgeous photography portraiture. And then at the same time, I also meet another key person, spiritual teacher relationship coach. That's also through Instagram. I liked his feed and uh, uh, he liked my pictures. And so we kind of um, started um, um, conversations via Instagram. So these two key people come into my life and, um, and I am trying to find my happiness. I start digging inside of myself. I was trying to repair my uh, marriage, and um, when my twin flame uh, comes into my life at that time, he was actually very, very supportive of me. He was helping me, uh, trying to figure out uh, what I could do about my life, and he was giving me his, um, um, his personal experience because he was a child of divorced parents at about the same age as my daughter. My daughter was eight, five years ago, so he was very supportive, and uh, I was completely smitten and it was a mutual attraction. So I've never experienced anything like this. The dynamic of this relationship was crazy. Um, he was super intelligent, super kind, uh, very soulful, crazy sexual attraction. Um, he's nine years younger. He's across the coast from me. He is um, handsome. So I fell in love with him virtually. So that's pretty much how strong that, that uh, dynamic was. And um, as I'm trying to figure out my life, I uh, start, you know, started the process of divorce and um, the twin flame just supports me through all this crazy stuff. And um, I, um, I determined that the reason why I ended up in this unhealthy, um, unhappy relationship was because there's a pattern to my behavior because um, I went inward. I started digging inside and uh, figuring out why am I allowing such behavior. So that digging inside takes me to a realization that I didn't know how to love myself. And um, at that time, I started gravitating a lot towards uh, Buddhism. Because all the quotes, um, all the uh, imagery, it just uh, kind of made me feel peaceful. It made sense to me because it all said about how happiness is the inside job, um, attachment is sorrow, and it's, you know, you, you have to find happiness inside. So it was making perfect sense to me. And I started gravitating towards that. I also forgot to tell you, um, at that time, in the beginning of my journey, I was... Um, really um, gravitating towards infinity and infinity symbol, the OM symbol. 
And uh, I kind of explained to myself um, the reason I, I lie, I love that image is because I was born on January 8th and 8th is the symbol of infinity and it's just part of me. And I am also of an infinite nature. So I kind of, that was kind of the, the beginning of my journey. Um, so I go inward um, and I figure out that I need to uh, learn how to love myself. So that's where I find I find uh, my first uh, my first falling into the loophole. Now that I'm out of this, I can see, you know, you can see backwards. But when I was in it, everything was p making perfect sense. And I, I at that time, I knew that I was doing everything right. I was following my heart. I was calling it. Um, I'm going to follow my heart and find uh, true meaning to my life. I don't want to be miserable anymore. I want to be genuinely happy and have a very meaningful, fulfilling second half of my life. And um, so my twin flame supports me through all of this craziness. And um, in my conversations with that spiritual teacher, um, my first break breakthrough comes when he mentions to me, um, an idea of personal responsibility. Um, so I was kind of stuck for a while. Like I couldn't figure out what to do. I was just kind of trying to live a healthy lifestyle. I was trying to eat healthy, work out, would do yoga because yoga, I found it very calming. And I was loving to do sun salutations because uh, it calmed me. And I was loving um, the breathing and um Om chanting, so that all made me calm because I'm very anxious, very emotional person. So I kind of was doing here and there. I was going to yoga, and um, so once this teacher introduces me to the idea of personal responsibility, that's what I was calling my breakthrough. Um, it was like my aha moment, and I said, "Oh wow, I I can actually heal myself. I'll go inward and I'll dig deep inside of me, and I'll I'll understand myself." Why am I allowing abuse? And that just sounded amazing to me. So I just felt empowered. And so off I went into this rabbit hole of a journey of self-mastery. Um, it took me to learning about my higher self. So I started um, separating myself as this Oksana. I started saying that, you know, this is, I'm not... Oksana is this, there's more to me, I'm of an infinite nature. And so that's when I started to become my um, neutral observer. So I, I began to observe myself. And um, that was the first um, step into the rabbit hole. And um, at that same time, my twin flame did like a 180 degree turn and he just became cold and distant and he said let's let's finish this relationship this connection that's it doesn't make any sense uh this is just uh that's you know there's nothing to it um and so he abrupt, abruptly stops it that's when the craziness begins because the obsessiveness of this connection threw me off my balance i could not get him out of my mind. He was always in my mind, in my body. I could feel him. I started having telepathic conversations with him. Uh, I just felt him. I could feel, you know, when he's thinking of me. So that was really odd. And I didn't know that it was called twin flame. I was just really in pain because as I was trying to uh, heal myself from the um, divorce, from the abusive relationship. So now I'm experiencing this a crazy uh, relationship dynamic and of course you know where do we go we go on internet we start researching and then uh, that's how a post popped up about twin flame and it it sparked interest and i started reading about it and then i said oh my goodness this is exactly what i'm experiencing i have a twin flame and uh, that's when i fell into another rabbit hole i when i read the description of this um uh, absolutely amazing sacred love union that's meant to serve humanity i was just what's not to love it sounds amazing and i thought oh god is actually sending me a true soulmate but it's called twin flame and now i need to do some inner work and he needs to do some inner work and then we'll come in union and we'll be serving humanity and so that's kind of that next step into the rabbit hole that I didn't know it was a rabbit hole. 
And um, so as I'm learning how to do this uh, self-awareness, um, self-understanding, self-forgiveness, self-mastery, I'm researching a lot of things and I do, um, I venture onto um, using an energy healer. It's a distant energy healing. Um, and pretty much I didn't realize it was he, um, Hinduism. And um, I was struggling with my twin flame dynamic and I felt like I was stuck. So that's how I came across that uh, healer and a very, very nice man. And just now I understand he's deceived himself. So what happens is that he uh, does a, a distant energy healing with me and he uh, would um, send he would tell me it's a God's energy. He would send distant, distant. He would send energy and just uh, balance my chakras and my emotional state. And uh, it felt amazing. It felt very, very peaceful and blissful. But now I know what happened. He introduced a Kundalini spirit in me and I didn't even know, but I allowed it because I wanted that healing of my unbalanced chakras. Um so as you can see, I'm tapping into a lot of things that I didn't even realize were of different um, cultures and uh, religions. But most importantly, they were of occult spirituality. And I didn't know that. I just I was looking for my answers. And I was doing um, a lot of meditations uh, to calm myself um, through this energy healer. I learned mantras um, to, again, to just experience this uh, uh, purification of my body or thought so I thought and this was all um, spirituality from Hinduism and um, I started feeling better and um, every six months or so we would reconnect with my twin flame and I would think that this relationship is actually progressing because again he would just shower me with the most amazing compliments he would say you're the most beautiful woman in the world and I love you that you're the love of my life and um, but every time we would try to meet something would happen either i had problems with my ex or he said he had death in the family or he would uh, it's it, pretty much every six months or so we would reconnect profess love and then we would try to uh, meet and then right before the meeting stuff like this would happen or he would just disconnect and i was just attributing it to this just this runner chaser phase of twin flames and just that we needed more healing. And I was uh, trying to heal myself. So during that time, I also came across um, Carl Jung quotes, and I started gravitating towards that because it made sense to me. It was about um, knowing that you have a shadow, and that's your subconscious, and you need to understand your subconscious and heal it, and that will move you to, you know, to... Um, to a better self-understanding and you will be uh, a free uh, a free person that will not be plucked by um, these uh, wounds, the childhood core wounds. So that really resonated with me too. And so I was tapping into that too. And um, I loved yoga. I loved crystals. I, I would go to crystals um, crystal shop and just pick up crystals that were kind of um, that felt right to me and at that time I bought the pink crystal the crystal of love and I was um, holding it in my hand a lot of times putting it on my chest a lot of times because it made me feel good I also throughout my life I noticed I always gravitated towards crystals I also remember that and so here I am doing all of these things. I'm trying to heal myself and um, I'm reading books about um, this uh, warrior goddess and I started um, believing that I am this um, goddess warrior. I'm this um, divine uh, female who is on her journey of um, self-empowerment. If I figure out uh, what's holding me hostage, if I uh, find my childhood core wounds, I purge it and I will become um, free and happy and I'll find my inner happiness. So this is the journey that I'm doing. Um, so it was the higher self and then it was the self-awareness, um, self-understanding, um, that's the shadow work. 
Um, Self-mastery is when I started identifying the childhood core wounds. It was the fear of abandonment for me um, from not having a father in my life. And I, I went ecstatic because... I started seeing that everything kind of started making sense and I, and I found that uh, core wound and I, I'm going to heal it. I started purging it. Uh, at that time, I came across another um, coach that is now um, my beautiful friend, my sister in Christ. Uh, but at that point, she was also deep, deep into the new age spirituality. And so she became my coach on uh, how to do the shadow work and how to transcend duality. And she was helping me with the twin flame um, twin flame a relationship dynamic because I was stuck and um, so here I am it's, it's this five years of all of this work it's it's a huge amount of work I didn't even realize how crazy it all sounds but it's now when I look backwards I realized that was just insane and um so I'm doing this self-mastery. I feel completely empowered. I started um, um, shedding um, those, uh, like I was saying, the unwanted layers of myself, that subconscious that doesn't, um, that, you know, that needs to be gone. I started understanding and accepting my shadow. I started loving my shadow. And um, I, reached a, I reached a moment of nirvana. I started experiencing uh, enlightenment. As I was um, doing all this work, you know, purging my chakras, aligning my chakras, I experienced this pure bliss uh, when I felt connected to everything and pretty much like I was opened um, through here, like the energy was just flowing through me, around me. And I felt connected to every single flower, every single person, to the universe. I was infinite. I was powerful. There was no death concept. I was just, I was, uh, this was it. I wasn't fearing death. Um, I was in this bliss, euphoric state. And that was a beautiful experience. Don't get me wrong. Um, so I would go in and out of these experiences. and. Um, and then I also, for the twin flame a ship dynamic, uh, I was, um, again, on and off stuck because we still didn't meet in physical. And so at, around um, halfway through my journey, I come across a twin flame uh, coach who I absolutely fell in love with because all the message was about love and you don't have to suffer. You just have to raise your vibrations and go into the 5D realm. And that's where you transcend all that pain. And you're always connected to your twin flame, even though if you're not in physical union, you have to go, you have to raise your vibrations and go into this higher realm where you're always together. And because the coach herself is in the union with actually a non-physical uh, twin of hers and so all those um, teachings sounded amazing and truthful because um, I was elevating my vibration I was working towards this uh, beautiful union with my twin that you know then ultimately I would serve humanity I am I am becoming a better me I am um, healing myself and um, everything just sounded right and perfect and truthful to me up until the point when all of a sudden, um, two of the two of the women that I highly respect. So I forgot to mention, as I was struggling on my twin flame journey, I met um, a few people, and one was um, the speed that um, it's a twin flame uh, twin flame account that just to me they were it. To me, uh, all the posts they posted, I felt like this is it. That's when the couple makes it, and that's how beautiful this is. And I was really respecting this account this woman and a man who were posting under that account so um about uh, i want to say maybe less than a year ago all of a sudden this woman um of, of this twin flame account all of a sudden posts a post that just throws me off my balance completely she just says abruptly what was that this is all fake her twin cheated on her it's all a big lie it's all this 5D realm is all fake. Who, why are we even there? And she found her, her, her answers, her healing and her peace in Jesus Christ. So when she posted that, I said, what? 
what is she talking about? What Jesus Christ? That doesn't make any sense. I'm doing beautifully. I'm I'm almost there. I'm almost in union. And uh, why is she posting about Christ? At about the same time, my coach, the shadow work and twin flame coach, goes through a very interesting experiencing on her own end. Um, she abruptly stops posting about all this shadow work, which is the you know the new age spirituality, and she also goes kind of into the um, she stops posting and she goes into her own journey back to God. She's searching for truth. She um, um, she realizes that she was teaching false teachings. She was uh, teaching um, ascension enlightenment a human uh, consciousness scale that that i forgot to mention i was also doing that i was you know on my process of that healing uh, self-evolution enlightenment i achieved a, a high 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 human consciousness scale score when i was just loving everything loving myself loving um, universe it was just you know it was all part of that new age spirituality and um, so that coach all of a sudden stops posting and uh, we stay in contact with her, and she starts telling me that um, she um, she found Jesus. So to me, that was odd that two people at about the same time started speaking about Jesus. And I thought, that is really weird. What is all this crazy stuff about Jesus? But because they're going through that, that, that made me do my inner inner dialogue with myself where what, what am i thinking about jesus where am i with jesus christ and so as these two women are going on their journeys i go on my mini journey of uh, kind of thinking where am i with jesus christ who is he to me and i remember clearly uh when this inner dialogue started happening i was so mad at jesus christ i was just and I, i'm sorry God, please forgive me for saying this, but this is so that it can help other people. Um, so I was just telling him, what kind of what kind of religion is this? What 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 is this belief? You never taught me how to love myself. You taught me only that it's okay to take this abuse because you know when you were crucified, that's what you know that's what the the message was. It's okay to suffer. Take the suffering. That's that's the message, and. Uh, who knows where I picked up this message? I, I raised Russian Orthodox. There were kind of phrases like that sprinkled in, you know, maybe in um, in when we went to church or maybe the, one of the grandmas said that. So that was my belief. I resented him because I believed he didn't teach me how to love myself. And so that was kind of my, uh, my resentment. And then I reached out to my um, shadow work uh, coach, who is now my sister in Christ, uh, God bless. We were all saved by uh, Jesus' mercy, and at that time, she, we, you know, I'm just conversing with her. I said, I really don't understand what is this, but you know, what about this Jesus? And and we talk about it, and she said, Well, he never taught that. He never taught that you need to take abuse. He never taught that you need to be a doormat. He taught his gospel was his message was love others the way you love yourself, love your neighbors the way you love yourself, and that. That click that I that resonated as truth to me, and that's when I started purging. I started healing my faith. I just started bowling. I started wanting to uh, rewatch the movie about him, Jesus of Nazareth. My mom showed it to me a long time ago when I was a teenager, and I started rewatching the movie and I started bowling my eyes out because I could see that I. I was deceived. I, I somehow picked up a belief that was not true. The more I watched his life, the more I started uh, reading about him, everything started resonating as truth, that the truth was actually right here, that this was a son of God who came to this earth to help us reconcile our relationship with God. He brought good news he brought salvation he he lived a sinless life he didn't have a, a single sin he preached only love and truth and mercy and he was crucified for nothing it was pure act of love when he he accepted the death the crucifixion on the cross 
for us, for our own salvation. And then on the third day, he resurrected because he is son of God. He is God reincarnate. And everything just started ringing, you know, ringing, resonating as truth to me. And I just, I was crying for days. I was just crying and purging that, that, that wrong belief system that I had. And then I struggled for a little bit about the shadow work. Again, I reached out to, to uh, my um, sister in Christ. And um, I said, I don't understand this because shadow work really helped me. I thought I healed myself. And um, again, through the conversation, we kind of, I arrived at my truth that, yes, shadow work helped. But if, it's, if, it, if it takes you away from God, that's not of God. It is actually um, helping you accept your shadow, which is uh, which is taking you, which is severing your relationship with God. You can you can heal yourself through surrendering to Heavenly Father, um, through asking, repenting. You you understand you have uh, problems or sins. You just go on your knees, you bow your ego down, and you say that you're nothing without God, and you can be healed by God's grace, which is coming from the top. And what I was doing all this journey, I was I was um, grooming the counterfeit spirit, the counterfeit Holy Spirit that is rising from the bottom up and thinking that you're God. But again, I didn't know any of this. I didn't realize I was doing that. So that was a huge shock to me. As I started healing my faith, um, I I realized that I was actually stuck in a in a euphoric trance, like hypnotized state of being enlightened i was enlightened in my head i started to believe that i am god experiencing itself i because i started when i was doing my journey i started surrendering to the universe i replaced god with the universe and i started saying universe you guide me universe you please manifest what i need and there was the loophole there was that rabbit hole that lured me into this um, false spirituality. I didn't realize I was severing my relationship with God. So as I realized that I was, I was stuck in this weird state of, I was um, kind of like mesmerized. And I noticed that about myself, that I wasn't really paying attention to my real life. You know, I was in that uh, fifth dimension. I was really enlightened and feeling blissful and peaceful and all, lo all loving. But yet something didn't feel right. And I started noticing that my daughter also is like, you know, watching a lot of um, really crappy videos on Instagram, listening to this uh, music of um, 6 9 and, you know, all this uh, filth and and just like junk. And, and I, that again, that kind of that was like a um, warning sign for me. What's going on? Why are you? In the name of love and light and raising vibrations, you're doing all of this, yet you're not really here. And look what's happening to your daughter. So I started watching the videos that uh, were shared with me about the deception. And the, the, the light bulbs just started coming on. The red flags just started ringing. And, and then the scales just fell off when I called Jesus into my heart because as I realized that I was deceived, I panicked because I believed all of this. I believed that I was doing the right thing. I believed that I was healing myself, that I was becoming this amazing uh, person who's going to have this amazing um, um, message to humanity, who's going to help heal humanity. I started panicking because I realized I was plugged into this collective consciousness but collective consciousness is nothing but another clever lie of uh, Lucifer, Satan. It's just anything but, but the truth. And the truth, in fact, was Jesus Christ. So be because I was already, I knew how to channel, oh, I forgot to tell you, through that um, Twin Flame coach, I learned uh, an, a meditation that was um, teaching how to channel this uh, beautiful white crystalline light through your um, crown chakra and you would connect with the universe and I was doing it daily and um, so I thought wait a second if I don't feel right something doesn't feel right I, I don't believe I'm God that doesn't that doesn't sound true to me I can't be God um, let me just I was desperate so I, I just told myself let me just try to call spirit of Jesus Christ into my heart sincerely I was just desperate and I started calling him I just um 
found a simple prayer and I said, Jesus Christ, Jesus of Nazareth, please come into my heart. Please help me understand your love and grace. And that's when I experienced the profound healing by God's grace. That's when I was touched by Holy Spirit. It came over me. And I don't know even how to describe the feeling. It's uh, it's the most amazing feeling of, it's like you're hugged by your by your parent, by by love, and such clarity, clarity and peace came over me. I just started crying. I started crying, and I went on my knees and I I, I started asking for forgiveness. I said, I'm so sorry. I didn't know what I was doing. And then that clarity that came over me, it started showing me, it started revealing to me what was happening. I could see through the deception. I could see that I was infested with Kundalini spirit. I could see that I experienced a blissful Kundalini awakening, that that serpent energy rose inside of me and I was grooming it and I didn't know about it. All that self, um, self-healing, self-mastery, there was all Kundalini spirit. When I was channeling the energy, there was also of Kundalini. And um, I was pretty much, I was, I was in shock. I remember that, that panic that because I thought everything I was doing was right. And, and I started reaching out to my um, sister in Christ who also came to Christ. And there's another, and another few women, we all, at the same time started coming out of this craziness. So it was pure enchantment. We were deceived, cleverly deceived. And as the scales came off, I could also see that the twin flame, the twin flame relationship was nothing but but a, a new age spirituality agenda because everything about it, this obsessiveness, this... Um, it's all part of the dark spiritual realm. It's a demonic oppression. So, again, it, it came to me later uh, through through revelations, through coming cr- across videos or talking to another to that lady who was the twin flame. So she also came to Christ and she started um, finding material about this, and um, it started making sense. It, it is pretty much a demonic oppression. When we're vulnerable and we're not strong in our faith, we open ourselves up to the spiritual realm of a darker spirituality. Because just like we're physical, spiritual realm exists. And there's, you know, there's the uh, light forces and dark forces. And they they want you. They want, they want to snatch you. So when I was going through my midlife crisis and I didn't have my strong faith, I opened myself up to this um, opportunity of the dark spirituality to come unto me. And remember how I told you in the beginning of the video that Om symbol, um, yoga, that all opened, I was allowing this energy to enter me and off I went into the rabbit hole after a rabbit hole onto the journey into the spirituality that severed my relationship with God. And when Jesus saved me, I... I remember thinking about it that, you know, how how is it different from that euphoric state that I was in when I was under the Kundalini? I call it under the Kundalini influence. Kundalini influence is pretty much, it's kind of like you're euphoric. It's like you're drunk and you are just in, enchanted. and uh, But you're not clear. You're not present. You are not... Um, you start believing that you're God, and um, but that's a lie. You're not God. You can't manifest a single thing. You can maybe you know play with this occult spirituality and do like a little bit of tricks and sorcery. Yes, that does work because that is you know it does work. But you are not God. You don't know your destiny. You don't know what's going to happen to you five minutes from now. So you know in your heart that the absolute truth is that there's God. There's an absolute creator. And we are God's children. We are the creation. Yes, we are created in his image, but we are not God. This is pure ego. This is pure pride. 
This is that Lucifer again, Satan. He's so desperate and pathetic that he tries to use any beautiful, you know, any beautiful lie to, to steal you away. That's what it is. So all of this journey, this five-year journey, it was actually a blessing in disguise because I, I think if I didn't go through this, the, these rabbit holes, I would, not, I would not have found such profound love and understanding of Jesus, of Jesus Christ, of the Holy Spirit, of how Holy Spirit truly heals, how he cleanses everything, how re he restores everything. It is just, this is the truth. And I'm trying to reach out to you to show you that, yes, I traveled this, this path and these are all the steps that I did. And, but the truth is in Jesus. He is that spirit that these, you know, the people who are going on these spiritual journeys and they're trying to do the, you know, channeling, talking to spirit guides, angels, you don't even know who you're talking to. Here's the truth right in front of your eyes. Jesus, who loves you. He's holy. He's just waiting for you to call his name, to reach out to him, to call his spirit into your, into your body, to be restored by his love, his mercy, and his grace. I just want to share this with you. I don't gain anything from sharing this video. I'm not bashing anyone. I'm just telling you those people are deceived. All this new age spirituality is a cult. Look into it. Look, look, look into how it started. Look at the eyes of the people who started it. Look at the eyes of the people who teach you new age spirituality. They are deceived. They're enchanted. They're in a bubble. But the bubble ends right here. You are not God. You're a child of God. Come back to God. He loves you. And he's so patient with you. He gave us all free will. It's free will. He doesn't force anything on you. He's so merciful. All you have to do is realize that you're a child of God. Go on your knees. Say, God, I'm so sorry. I made these mistakes. I ventured into these wrong paths. I'm so sorry. I know you, you, you are my creator. I'm your creation. Please guide me. Call Jesus into your heart. Say, Jesus, please come into my heart. Please show me the way. Please heal me. And he will. The amazing transformations that are happening inside of me, it's amazing. He's that beautiful, that powerful. I hope this video helps another soul. Please reach out to me if you have any questions. You can post your comments under. I will provide the resources of the videos that helped me to come out of this um, deception because they were pretty, um, they were key in my um, coming out of the deception. God bless you. I hope, um, I hope you find truth. If you seek, if you sincerely seek the truth, you shall find it. God bless.